the Salesforce Winter 23 release will go live in just a few short weeks. There are so many interesting features and a lot of improved functionality to play around with. So in true Salesforce Ben fashion, we've condensed it all into our list of the top 10 Winter 23 features that we think you're going to love. First up, let's talk about the exciting updates coming to the future of page layouts. You know what I'm talking about, it's Dynamic Forms. It's no secret that Dynamic Forms for standard objects has been in the pipeline for a while, and they're now available for accounts, contacts, person accounts, and opportunities. As well as this, the default behavior when migrating to Dynamic Forms has changed. The option Migrate Fields and Sections into an Accordion component to improve page performance is no longer selected by default. Next, and sticking with the Dynamic theme, there is a small but significant update to Dynamic Related List filters. You can now filter a Dynamic Related List by multiple filter values. Previously, you could only filter by a single value. This release has been generous with permission set updates, proving that they are indeed the way forward and the best practice option. Because there are just too many great permission set enhancements to choose from, we're gonna cover them all. Starting off, you can now set field level security for a field on permission sets. This means that Salesforce will now allow you to assign field access based on permission sets instead of profiles. Although this is a beta feature, it's still worth checking out. Alongside this, a revamped app is here to assist you with all relevant permission assignments. What you may know as the permissions helper is now the user access and permissions assistant, an app created by Salesforce that is available on the App Exchange. The app is designed to help you analyze and report on permission assignments, as well as providing an easy wizard to manage permissions. Handy, right? Lastly, you can now assign an expiration date to a permission set or a permission set group. When either one passes the expiration date, a user can lose the functionality that was initially granted to them. If that rings a bell, it's with good reason. This update was available in the Summer 22 release, but has only just been enforced with the Winter 23 release. As per the last few releases, forecasting has been heavily focused on, and this theme continues in Winter 23. There are multiple enhancements, so do check out the full release notes if you use this feature. We wanted to draw special attention to two of the great updates to forecasting. The first update is all about custom opportunity fields and managing your forecasts. You can now filter your forecast by custom opportunity number, currency or pick list fields for more accurate and specific data. Previously, you were only able to filter your forecast using record type, standard number, standard currency and standard pick list fields. Forecast visualization just got a lot smoother too, thanks to Salesforce desktop site forecasts. Now users can seamlessly access forecast information with the hover of a mouse, with features such as show changes in the last seven days that make understanding the data that much easier. Our fifth mention isn't the most extensive update, but it still deserves some love, especially because this feature is likely to become a new favorite for admins. Yes, you can now easily clone your favorite apps to create a brand new app in the Lightning App Builder, saving time and streamlining the work process in one easy step. This feature is currently in beta. The next feature we feel deserves a mention is the custom address field. It's safe to say that a custom address field that functions in the same fashion as a standard address field has been a much needed, much requested feature for years. And now it's finally here. Originally released in beta in summer 22, it's now generally available from winter 23. The winter 23 release has been great for Flow. And we all know that Flow is the automation tool of the future with the retirement of Process Builder and workflow rules. Check out the link in the video description to all of our super easy to understand articles to help you get started with Flow. One of the biggest developments is Winter 23 is that you can no longer create workflow rules. You will be prompted to use Flow Builder. Here are a couple of our favorite new Flow features. 
Say hello to even easier flow organization as you can now cut and paste to move and reorganize elements in flow. There's no need to delete the element that you've copied or change the API name of the new pasted element. To cut an element, click on it and select cut element. To paste the element, you simply hover over where you want to paste it and then click the clipboard over there. Alongside this, you can now also use Formula Builder in Flow Resources and Collection Filter Elements. Use Is Clone in Record Triggered Flow Formulas. Use Record Triggered Flows to update related records. Specify time offsets in months for scheduled paths and so much more. Be sure to check out our full article on the new flow features in Winter 23. Among many updates for reports and dashboards, there are two in particular that we want to call out and we think these will apply to both users and admins alike. First up, filter custom report types by Salesforce fields. In previous releases, we were granted the ability to filter report types based on Salesforce objects. The Winter 23 release takes this a step further and we are now able to find custom report types that contain a specific standard or custom field. Next up, review a custom report. This enhancement will enable you to see the structure of custom report types, showing the relationships between joined objects. Of course, we had to mention the new Einstein updates, and these are ones to look out for, especially if you use Einstein scoring in any capacity. So first up, Boost Agent Productivity with Einstein Search for Knowledge is now generally available. Einstein Search for Knowledge can help your service agents find relevant articles faster, in turn, reducing the amount of time it takes to resolve a case. This feature is now out of beta and is generally available. Next, resolve cases quickly with interactive Einstein search answers is now in pilot. This new feature will extract the most useful information from a knowledge article and display three lines that can then be copied by service agents and shared. And finally, Einstein scoring model timings have been changed. So lead and opportunity models will be refreshed once a month instead of every 10 days, and this will improve the performance. For anyone on the fence about the utility bar for sales users, fret not. The addition of the to-do list means that you can add it to the utility bar to display tasks and who they're assigned to in a single, easy to use way. This is perfect for organizations using sales engagement in enterprise performance and unlimited editions. To round it off, we have a bonus item for you. If your sales team is using both Salesforce and Slack, you may want to consider exploring the Sales Cloud for Slack app, which is now generally available. This app enables users to see, update and share accounts, contacts, leads and opportunities, see and manage their sales pipeline, get reminders in Slack about upcoming close dates, unchanged stages and unchanged next steps for opportunities that they own, streamline important announcements, use Flow Builder to invoke Slack actions, and much, much more. That concludes our top 10 hottest features from the Winter 23 release. We hope you've enjoyed it. There were so many amazing ones to choose from. Did we miss any out? What are you most excited about using? Let us know in the comments below, especially if you have any questions. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content just like this.